Good morning, everyone. Um, I am uh, so glad that we are going to share in this is reporting the teaching of today. Let me show you now. Uh, this is my first time to teach in English in church. I'm going to be deputy from the song. It is a hand on the table. So I can give some convenience here. You know, one of the guys, which is a name of the other. Um, so we are continuing with teaching on the letters to the seven chapters in the Revelation. Come to the issue. Ah, is that is that actually the main issue? Um, last uh, Sunday we studied on the church letter to the church of Ephesus. Ephesus. So let's be the one for one thing. So we are doing Ephesus. So I'm going to do a a short recap. On what we start. So we see um, that the letter is not difficult to put the church, but to the angel of the church. To the angel of the church in the Ephesus to write to who is the angel of the church? In the American context, in this context, angel is such a thing. Another half, who is the angel? America as a matter of who is the angel? Not to an angelic being. At a time when America was not even a angel, means the messenger. America is so unknown. So, an angel is somehow a messenger of God to the church. We put the American people in a. So as we study these seven letters, in most of every letter there are like um, six things we are going to see. Description of the of Christ to the church. Commendation to the church. Rebuke. Solution. Consequence of obedience. And promise of the one who comes. Jesus described himself to the church of Ephesus as him who called the seven stars. In his right hand, who among who is among the seven God and last man? Yes, you have to go to the point of the point of the chapter. Yes, as the other one, 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 as the and because they had the works of the right hand. And the son who up between who is the right and false teachers. He rebuked them because they have lost the first love. And the solution was to remember and repent. And the two things they did at first. The consequence of their disobedience is removal of the rough stand. Among them, um, let's read uh, the passage of this Ephesus. We are going to read like later verses, which we did not focus last time. And speak what you say. So many times, one of the ones who want to repent of that in the old time, a harsh. To the angel of the church in Ephesus, write the word of him who wrote the seven stars in his right hand, 
who walks among the seven gods and lampstands. I know you walk the story and the efficient dwelling, and how you cannot deal with those who are evil, but have tested those who call themselves apostles in the north, and found them to be false. I know you are enduring patiently and bearing up for my nephew, and you have not grown weary. But I have this against you, that you abandon the law of the heart that's first. Remember, therefore, from where you have been, you have fallen, repent, and do the works you did at first. If not, I will come to you and remove your rapture from its place unless you repent. This Yet this you have, you have the works of the Corinthians, which I also had. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. The one who conquers, I will grant it of the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Akajendera hagati y'iteko by'amatabaza mu bwiza habo aravuga amagambo ati ndi mirimo y'umuhati wawe no kwihangana kwawe kandi ziza basha kutangana abanyange soma nuko wagenzuye abitunga kandi atarizo ukabona ko arabi arabanye nyemo uzi kwihangana kandi warenganije bizina byanjye ntiwacogora ariko no kitse mugaye nuko yetse ukundo rwa rwambe Nuko yukaho uwavuye ukagwa ubutane ukore imirimo nti ya mbere kuko nuta bikora nzaza huri kuri kitereko kitabanza cyawe ahantu utihana ariko rero ufite icyo mushimira nuko wanga imirimo y'abanikora iki iyo nange nanga ufite ubufi niwumve ibyo mukabwira abatore munesha nzamwa kujya ku muto z'ubuki bw'ingo cy'ubutarizo y'Imana in the church of Ephesus, they were doctrinally sound. Doctrinally vigilant. They were able to discern any teaching. And they would hear the works of the Corinthians, which God also had. The Corinthians were a heretical sect. They were not identified by the Bible even in extra biblical uh, books, writings. Um, um, however, they have similar issues like those of Balaam, who suggested the God's people to participate in idolatry and sexual immorality. Perhaps they perverted the grace of God into the lessons of sin. So, the church of officers hated them mm-hmm. as God had them. You see, this church was some church. Mm-hmm. However, they lost, they lost their uh, first love. The love of God first and the love of others. So we should uh, a church should maintain this too. The the sound of the sound of the love of God. The man of the father who said uh, how sweet to see um ministers who has um, a theological backbone of sin, uh, of the word of God,
and yet have a tender, soft heart towards him. Kanda kafite umutima wimuwe kwanya byaha. We must balance the two. Gomba kunganisha ibyo bintu. We must have sound doctrine. Gomba kugira ifite love. Ariko tukagumana n'ubukundo. We are in with the work to ka So, the church of Ephesus loved the first love. So, Jesus is giving them the solution to remember and repent and do the work they did at first. If they do not, Jesus threatened the church. Yes, we are saying the rough stand. What does that mean? The rough stand represents the church. If the if the rough stand is removed, it means the church has lost its status as a church in the eyes of God. Is that possible? The history proves so. So if you see uh, in Turkey, in Middle East, you see, that was the, like the quarter, like the Okushanti at that time in the Arab century. But look now, it's a Muslim in the quarter, like. Now it's down. So look at Europe. Mm -hmm. in, from the Reformation time until uh, in the 20th century, mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. the Reformation, it was like a record of Christianity. But look at now. Mm -hmm. So you see that a church, we call a tutorial. When uh, it abandoned the teaching of the scripture, God removed their status as church. So we must hold the hand of without looking to the left and right, without watering down the gospel. We should also maintain the love of God in the Jesus said, We know that from my disciples, there is a promise to the one who conquers also. Jesus said to the one who conquers, um, I will grant into the tree of life which is in the paradise of God. That's the promise to everyone who conquers. Can you be a Christian and not conquer? I don't think so. Every Christian will conquer. Every Christian will persevere to the end. Because the past, our perseverance to the end is indeed the perseverance of our Savior in us. Everyone born of God will conquer. However, there is a warning here we must hear. And you should be careful to observe. That you must walk uh, and your patiently until the end. That is the proof that you have a true recompense. Oh, that was not a That was just another teaching. <laughs> 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 application we should take from the church of the 
ugomba kushika mu nishe nyuma bisanzwe the first teachers karubanura abigishwa abigisha binyoma had the first teaching to carry the shoji noma there somehow we to relate the first teaching the church in the name of love in the name of unity and then we left them crept in church slowly and unnoticed ukagenda tuzire kazi kagenda bicengera mu itorero gake gake ituna bimenye no we shouldn't let that happen ntabwo tugomba kwemera ko ibintu bigomba kuba However, we should also hold the first love. We go by the same command. 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 We go by the same ye piga ye wanto wanto itoro disimuna um we want to meet again um and to the angel of the church in severina right the words of the first and the last died and came to life in their tribulation and their poverty but for leech and the splendor of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested for ten days. And for ten days you have tribulation. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. He has a ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. The one who conquers will be heard by the second chair. Amen. <laughs> Nuko kutukwa na vijita awa yunga nyamara tariho Ahuko arali sinagundi ya satani Mutine, ujujie kwa wazwa Dole satani ajine gusirisha wa mge mwine mundu ni mwine Kujia wa mjala jezwe Kandi muzama ni misi chumi mwa wazwa Aliko ujuchi anuka uza jeze kubukwa Danje zaguha ikamba di ujimu Uki tubutu ni yunga ito mwuka bila matoe Unesha, hata za kwa wangu kutubu wakali. Thank you. Jesus described himself as the first and the last. Yesu yuku zumbi huwa mbele, alinawe kumwine uka. What does that mean? Ndiyo iso wa nichi. He's the beginning, niwe tajio, and the end, niwe kumwine uka. Alpha of sin in the first chapter, God, the Father, also described Himself as the Alpha and the Omega. And the Christ described Himself as first and the last, Alpha and Omega. This is clear that Jesus is God. He is eternal. He is self-existent. Yeah. Amen. Ah, you just want to go to Jose Ho. Ah, now we are in Hamu. We are in. Okay. Jesus has been and will always be. If you want to think before Jesus, you will find nothing. Because he is the beginning and he is the end. So this proves that he is God. Also he says, he who died and came to life. 
Jesus has secured the redemption of that people by dying and rising again. Today, uh, the whole world is celebrating Easter. Um, by the death, we know that Jesus has removed our sin from us by carrying our sins on himself. And the punishment due to us was read on him. By rising, he imputed his righteousness to us. And our resurrection was made sure. If he rose again, we will rise again. If he remained in the grave, we are pitiful. Any other. We are still in our sins. But he did not remain in the grave. Rose again. Yes. We know for sure that because he rose again, what, whatever he said he is, he is. He's God, he's Messiah, he's the Savior, he's um, And because he was, he made us right with God by justifying us. Romans chapter 4 verse 25 says He raised for our justification. In his rising, we are made right with God. We are made holy. We are made holy. By describe, describing himself that way, he's giving us confidence that he has secured our salvation even from the first to the last. Because he's the first and the last. Um, on the verse 9 he says, I know tribulation and the poverty, but your age. So the church in Simona was facing persecution. We are going to see it in the verse below. They were physically poor. So you see those teachers who always say, don't say I am poor. Like I am temporarily inconvenient. <laughs> so there is there is some teachers who says like don't confess to yourself a bad thing. <laughs> if you are sick, don't say you are sick. If you are poor, don't say you are poor. Because if you say you are poor, you are confessing. You are. You are calling upon yourself the, the poverty on yourself. That's not how Bible speaks. The Bible presents the reality. If you are poor, you are poor. However, Jesus said they are rich. In which way? They are spiritually rich. Ephesians chapter 1, all the blessing, heavenly blessing, that is ours in Jesus Christ. So we are rich. Though you may be physically poor, if you have crossed your legs, unless your eyes is focused on temporary things, our eyes should focus on what is above. Come on. 
Do you believe this? Do we live accordingly? Um, they have been facing slandering from the Jews who are not religious. They were ethnic religious, but we know that in the Roman they say Jews are the one in heart. Even they're not true Jews, they are a synagogue of Satan. Look, they stand at the church of God. Have you heard our church being being slandered? Have you? Calling us like cheap grace teachers, but we are we? Yes. 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 But we should know that we are not the first one to endure this. This church, Jesus has nothing to rebuke. Yes. It is the one of the two churches that Jesus did not find any things worth a rebuke. However, they were slender. So slender is it back to the early church. Of those who they identify as people who fear God. They are Jews, but they are not Jews. But they, they, they profess to worship God, but they worship the devil. They have a zeal for God, but it is a zeal for Satan. They are not serving God, but Satan. Even though they may do in the name of God. That's why God does not see them see them as the synagogue of God, but a synagogue of Satan. And verse uh, 10. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about, is about to throw some of you into prison. That you may be tested in the ten days we have tribulation. Uh, they, they are about to suffer. But God is not fear. Why? We see the people is about to throw some of them into prison. And yet their imprisonment did not end in the real. But we end in martyrdom. That's why Jesus said, and be faithful unto death. They should not fear because their death means a better in the name. You die, you go to Jesus, which far, far better. Because Christ is better than life itself. Is Christ better than life? Would you say like Paul? Death is game to me. He was perplexed. I mean, Paul was perplexed in, in Philippians. <laughs> okay. He was 
I would remain to be with you for the sake of ministry. It's far better to depart and be with Christ. I am oppressed. He saw death as an opportunity, as a, a door to a better life. And that requires Also, the tribulation we breathe. Let's say Hano Kurenganiwa. We for ten days. Um, and it says, uh, verse um, 23, what you're about to suffer, behold, the devil is about to pass on to the prison. That may be tested, and for ten days you have tribulation. The by who? By God. Nima. God is testing the genuineness of the affair. In first Peter, Peter. Um, In this rejoice, go now for a little while, if necessary, be used by various trials, so that the genius of your faith, not precious by God, that precious, though it is tested by fire. May be found to result in praise and the glory and honor of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The reason our faith is tested is God is testing the genius of our faith. And the verse says to look result in despair, but result in glory and honor at the coming of Christ. If the God is tried in furnace, which perishes, how about a faith which is far precious from God? It must be tested. So, However, we must be patient and prove that our faith is strengthening. Even when it means that you are going to die, no Imagine if our elders are, are thrown into the grave. Would we be rejoicing? Or would we be scared and or some of us fall away? Because there is a reward awaiting for us. Uh, Jesus say, um, the one who conquer, uh, be faith unto them, I will give you a crown of life. Yes, the one who conquer, we just be hurt by the section of death. 
Let's read Revelation 20. Verse 14, then death and death will return into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. The second death does not mean cease to be. It's continuing to be, but away from God and with, with the devil and death and head into the lake of fire. There is an encouragement for us to endure Persevere to the end. Be careful unto the, the end. Because there are a last eternal God. And there is no second death. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. As an application, church, you are rich. We are rich. Be faithful unto death. Whatever may befall on us, they are ordained by God. To test the genuineness of our faith and, and to hasten us into glory. And you are all the slender, knowing that you are the first two. Fix your eyes to the crown of life that is ahead of you. Keep in mind that there is no second death. Those who are not believers, when what is there, we each other the whole way to his room. We can know that you are seated under the, over the fire. We each other, we each other, we each other the whole way to his room. Be seated and know that you are over the fire. 
Father, we praise you. There is none like you, and there is none beside you. Let the church hear how what the Spirit is the church is. Let's take heed. Let's we forget that he is help the church live according to the scripture. Today, just I pray. Amen. Amen.